Hello and welcome. This video will be showing you how to rip media such as music and videos directly from your iPod to your computer. Okay, my iPod has been plugged in, so we're going to need to go down to the start menu and then go to computer. And then here we have all our drives, our um, USB drives, and you look for the one that your iPod's plugged into. Mine is currently plugged into K. Okay, and you should have these four file folders. These are just extra picture files I put on it, but you get four folders. Then you go to Tools, and Folder Options, then View, and then you find where it says Hidden Files and Folders. And under it, it says, it should be highlighted, Do Not Show Hidden Files and Folders. You're going to need to highlight the one that says Show Hidden Files and Folders. Okay, and then click Apply. Next out of that. And you should get this new folder called iPod Control. I'm going to double click that and then go to music. Now I'm just going to get all these files and rip them directly to my computer. I'm going to make a new, new folder. New folder. It's going to be called my iPod music slash videos. Or videos. Let's exit out that V there. <laughs> okay, and then now that all your files are highlighted, you need to go and drag them into this my iPod music or the folder that you just made okay, I have 14.3 gigabytes on this so this should take a while so I'm, I will get back to you when it is done copying and pasting okay now that you are done putting all of your files in this folder you can open this up and you can see all these new folders in there okay now just click on the first one and then here you have all your files that you ripped from your iPod. Okay, what I'm going to do is highlight all of these full files and just drag them and drop them into a new folder that I'm going to make on my desktop. Let's call it iPod Music. Okay, now we're just going to drag and drop everything from here to this folder. Okay, we're going to do this for every, like, 49 folders that you have on, in this new, in this iPod folder. Okay, now that we are all pretty much done, yeah, we're all done, we can just open this up, and we are going to just drag and drop all of these files into your iTunes, so you can put them on your iPod. Okay, now that we have all of these files right here, we can just um, highlight all of them and then drop them into your iTunes. Alright, you just drop it there. I'm not going to drop them in there because I already have, it would just make doubles of everything that I, ha I have already put in there. So, there you have it. And it'll already have, it'll have the full names of every song that you've put in once we're done. So, congratulations, you have officially ripped all the files off of your iPod to your computer.